If you could choose just one spell for an attack, which one would it be? Klaus of Navi, current world champion, is going to take on this unthinkable task. For every base he three stars, that is $250, with a grand prize of $1,000 if he three stars all three of my bases. As per usual with these challenges, I sent my bases ahead of time with Scout View enabled, and he has selected the first base, which is base number one. One. Now, for the defending CC, I don't expect him to take 14 poison spells. So why don't we go with something like the triple ice golem, where it is still possible without the poison. Let's throw that up so he can scout. Whilst he does that, let's have a quick word from our sponsor who helped with the prizing. Thank you to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring today's video. This is a new galactic RPG from Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. It's already amassed over 80 million downloads, and it's a available on mobile and PC with data shared across both of these. It will also be available on PS5 in the fall. With the new version 1.3, the main storyline has reached the epilogue and there are new characters, including Imbibed Alunai, who is a powerful, imaginary DPS character of the Path of Destruction. He can manipulate the flow of water to attack enemies. There is also a second limited five-star character, Fu Shuren. Her main ability is protecting her teammates in battle, so she is excellent as a damage reducing support character, which I always like. Version 1.3 also comes with a new simulated universe, so you can hone your skills in this challenging new game mode. You can download Honkai Star Rail using the link in the description, and if you use the code on screen, you can redeem Stellar Jade times 50. Thanks again for sponsoring today's video. He is in! What does he have for us? The Rage spells? Interesting! So he is giving away two spell capacity, because you can only take 10 out of the 11 in your army, and two out of the three in the CC. I thought he might have gone with the freeze or the lightning, maybe even invisibility. Perhaps we will see that in the second and third attack. But let's see what he's got. Queen charge into hog riders. Presumably the battle blimp is for the town hall because that could be very tricky given that he only has the rage to support his queen. Raging her early here, trying to walk down towards the southern area. Looks like the funnel is set. Sending rocket balloons over the top with the scatter already tanked on the queen. Now the Grand Warden moves in as well to support the queen. Perhaps that is for the battle blimp and the ability to get to the town hall. Is he going to hit the sweepers though, flying into this angle? Does it matter? He's charging the queen right down into this section with the multi, the king, the eagle. So there is a lot to deal with here, particularly since he cannot freeze. Typically, you would rage the queen, freeze any defenses, perhaps turn her or the healers invisible. He does not have this option. There's my tornado trap. I'll be honest, I just copy base links. I have no idea where the traps are. So I'm, an, I'm as new to this as Klaus in terms of the base. Queen does have the eagle locked onto her. That is now changed. We've got a couple of headhunters moving it. Brilliant warden ability because of the seeking air mine. There is my ice golems. Blimp is getting pushed around. Can he make it to the town hall? What's he got in there? Yetis maybe? Pops it, balloons, right? Oh, no, is it? Yetis are there, but there were sneaky goblins that instantly took the town hall down. Is that the warden now taking a lot of damage? But he's already used the warden ability. So he would prefer the healers to stick to the queen here. Maybe even the warden to go down. Grand warden goes down, the queen ability. It went off because of the enemy queen and she has the tiniest bit of health. She does stay alive. He doesn't have any more rage spells. Can the queen get the multi-target inferno here? The bomb tower, the wizard tower, they are huge for the hog riders who are moving in from the top area of the base. Didn't have the warning ability for them, but slowly pinching around the outside. One expo is all that is firing at the king. And I think that's the remaining damage dealer for the queen or the royal champion. He's got the RC ability, 95%, he's done it. And that is by swagging two spell capacity. Three stars, $250 for this first attack. That was insane. Wow. Just checking Twitter or X, whatever it is nowadays. Base number six is the second attack. Good luck, my friend. He's in. What have we got for the second base? 14 freeze spells. I will be honest, I kind of expected the freeze spells. That is one spell that I thought you might be able to get this to work with. So we have 19 balloons, 10 hog riders, battle blimp again. So guessing 
assuming we're going straight for the town hall. Yeti to funnel the arch tower, probably the air defense as well. Instantly freezing the scatter shot and sending in three rocket balloons. I was going to say, Klaus, you just used the rage spell, buddy. But that's the defending rage spell. Did not get the builder hut. Now, hmm, I don't think three rocket balloons he could have expected to get the scatter out of that. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe he wanted to just tra trigger the rage spell tower. Maybe that's what he wanted to do, because he waited a few seconds, instantly presses the warning ability for the battle blimp moving through, but also the giant bombs for the hog riders. Oh my gosh, Klaus, there was three down there. <laughs> Now we have a freeze for the town hall. Lots of balloons. They will guarantee the town hall. Doesn't need to do anything else. But what's happening with these ice golems? He's got hog riders onto the multi. And they, they were just to take down that section of the base. Then look at this. We've got the poison lizard just popping away at those ice golems. And then we've got the, the electro titan. How does he come up with this stuff? <laughs> so customized to the base. One Electro Titan to funnel. Now the Sui Archer Queen. He has a giant initially tanking. And what's going on at the bottom? We had a Yeti for the air defense down there because he only has balloons. And he still has 11 freeze spells. <laughs> he just wants these multi infernos, seemingly. So he's frozen the Rage Tower. He does not want that to pop off. Will he continue freezing it here? Interesting, he doesn't. I thought he might have froze it again there to stop that, but Diggy does stun the Expo, and he wants the freeze spells for the balloons. He's got eight left over. Decide that is a beautiful freeze on the Eagle. The Expo keeping the Archer Queen moving through. She does, does get the Eagle, will get the Expo. Royal Champion will get the multi. Now we've got 18 balloons with seven freeze spells. Is it enough for the bottom of the bait? Klaus, are you swagging? Are you swagging spells? We've got a grounded expo. He's not even freezing the wizard towers. I thought he might have froze them. He doesn't need to do anything else. He can just instantly freeze the monolith as we move through. Six freeze spells left over. There's the freeze for the monolith to keep the queen alive. Keep freezing it. Don't try and swag, my friend. I know it's looking good. <laughs> Oh, the tornado! I, I think it's a little too late for my base. He can just keep freezing that monolith. He's swagging three freeze spells. Another three star. Klaus in swagging style. $500. And if he three stars the next one, that is the grand prize of 1000 But can he do it? <laughs> what was that madness? I love these challenges, man. Oh my gosh. How does he do that? Okay, base number three. Can he do it? 11 minutes ago, he set out on this challenge. He's wiped out two of my bases. The last attack. 1,000 on the line. What spell does he use? He's in. I'm nervous for him. Invisibility spells. Yes. With seven healers. Klaus, what are you doing? We've got the log launcher selected. So picking off a couple of cannons here first. Gets those that rocket loons for the single inferno. Pops a bunch of traps. Gets the inferno tower, but pops the rage tower most importantly. Okay, now we've got the king for the enemy king with a couple of party wizards. Interestingly, not using a headhunter there. Oh, because the wizards can. Oh, he does use a headhunter. Sorry. I was going to say, the party wizards can then help behind the king. Now we've got a couple of healers. Notice how he puts them to the side of the queen, as far away from the king as possible. He does not want those to switch to the king since he's taking a lot of damage. Nice use of the invisibility. Redirects the expo to the queen, but that's fine because... Oh no! It redirected to the warden and the warden takes the healers! Oh my goodness! King is going to get the town hall, but what does he do here? Can he even get the healers onto the queen? Come on, Warden is following the queen. He turns the queen invisible. That was a beautiful invisibility spell because the Warden then walked into it. Another invis, Klaus. Another for the queen, is he? No, they're back on the queen. Oh my gosh. The tension is just too much. <sighs> How is he even attacking here? I, <laughs> I could not do this. So much respect for the pro players and what they do. Okay, so we've got Super Bob's on the outside, a giant, and then an Electro Dragon turned invisible. Now he has turned the Tesla invisible there, but it looks like he's going for the Warden statue is what the plan was. Sends in a balloon now that he can see that there's other things there. Is he going to get that? It would funnel the queen in towards the eagle. 
Is he turning the... Yes, he does! Just about catches that Electro Dragon, and he does get the Warden Statue! Now, with the Log Launcher moving through, he's got brilliant damage onto that multi. Queen steps in because he funneled with the E-Dragon. She's getting the Eagle, has to turn that Queen invisible. Are they... Were the healers on the Warden again? They were! Giant Bombs, he pressed the Queen ability, but I thought she was going to go down. She doesn't! The healers switch back to the Queen! End to end to... Oh, he's got 50 seconds! 50 seconds, 62%. Maybe that's why he wanted me to switch the CC, because he figured it might be close on time, this plan. I don't even care. I just like to see the entertaining attacks, and this has been so difficult, but his queen's gonna go down. He's got no more invis. Monolith stays alive. He's got 10 super barbarians spreading them across the right-hand side. He's got the RC ability. No way, 20 seconds. He's got two balloons. He sends them in because he's got to start doing that. Come on, super barbs, get that air defense down quick. RC ability goes off. Is Diggy alive? Diggy's alive it stuns the monolith no way eight seconds seven six five four three the end spell goes down he gets it oh my goodness one thousand dollars to klaus rage freeze and invisibility that is your answer thank you so much for being a good sport my friend and if you want to see when i challenge synthia to use the weakest troops i have that on your screen enjoy the rest of your day